I mean, the sauces, they're, they're hot. Don't get us wrong, it's a hot sauce. But it's real easy to make a hot sauce that'll just burn you. You know, it, it kind of takes the, the flavor away. It doesn't complement. So that was kind of the idea we had is something you could eat with, something you could cook with, and something that a non-hot sauce person would not be intimidated by trying. I mean, it's, it's, it's a little hotter than Tabasco. Don't get me wrong. It's not mild, but it's not something that's going to kill you. Gary and Tony, two fast friends since becoming neighbors on Water Street in Castine about 10 years ago, have, like many men and people in general, had a few beers and come up with an idea. But unlike most of us, who either forget the idea or, in the light of day, come up with a hundred reasons why we can't do it, they followed through, and Castine Condiments was born, producing three signature hot sauces, the Backshore Burn, the Black Fly Bite, and the Baron's Blaze. Our signature sauce is uh, the Baron's Blaze, which, uh, after the Baron de Castine, and that one there is, uh, Predominantly peaches, it's peach oriented, it's a sweet, sweet sauce to it, and we've got a lot of, a lot of things with ginger and habanero peppers, and uh, and that's kind of the one that we do the most with. And the next one that we're we're actually setting up to do now is the uh, black fly bite, which is uh, mango based, uh, mangoes and habanero peppers, and we've got uh, garlic, ginger, and onions and spices, and then the uh, last one is the uh, bakshu burn, which is. Predominantly uh, pepper bases, uh, mostly jalapeno peppers and uh, onions and just a, a few spices in it. But that one is pretty much filled with peppers. With the sauce's complex and very pleasing combinations, it is obvious that the two are no novices in the kitchen. Tony worked all through high school and college in restaurants in New York and New Jersey. And Gary, along with his wife Carolyn, owned Dennett's Wharf Restaurant in Castine for 22 years. This knowledge and skill has enabled them to take a hobby and turn it into much more than something only seen and enjoyed by family and friends. I call it a cash neutral hobby. It's a hobby that we don't have to pay for. And you know what? Other people get enjoyment out of it and it's kind of cool. A lot of guys talk about doing stuff but they've really done it. Mm -hmm. And they marketed it up at Sugarloaf and they have a lot of places up there to have it, and they have every place in town has it. Um, my oldest son sells it out in California, and you know, people really like it, so it's fun. No, I'm actually proud of them. For FenceViewer.com, this is Jesse Groning.